Oh, hello. Welcome to the Human Anatomy Physiology Labs at Ohio University. Today, we're taking a look at the ventricle model. So zoom on in and let's take a look to see what we've got. So if we look down here, what we can see with the, vent the ventricle model is first off, this is a casting or molding of empty space that would be in the brain. So when I touch part of this model, it would actually represent empty space in the brain. Now what you can see here are the lateral ventricles. So these long parts on either side, right and left, are the lateral ventricles. Underneath this region, this is the third ventricle. Third ventricle. Connected by this bridge called the interventricular foramen. So to connect the lateral to the third is the interventricular foramen. Spin it posteriorly. Notice where it puffs out, like the tail end, would be the fourth ventricle. Fourth ventricle. And the third ventricle is connected to the fourth via the cerebral aqueduct, this skinny part here. The last thing to mention about this model is anything that's pink is representing the choroid plexus, choroid plexus, which produces the cerebral spinal fluid. And that's the ventricle model.